For being brought to the place of their abode, Robin blew his horn and all his company cap, all a host obedient to their master. The king marveled, which Robin perceived, did himself with his best men serve the king at night, oft welcoming him for the king's sake, as he said. Then he showed him the course of their lives and skill in shooting, that he might inform the king thereof. And in shooting, Robin proposed this penalty to him that shot out of the garland, that the abbot should give him a good buffet. But for the nonce, Robin made himself to forfeit. And then the abbot refused to strike him, saying it fell not for his order. But Robin would not cease till he made him smite him soundly, that he fell to the ground, for which Robin commended him. But Robin himself struck his men as they fell. Afterward, Robin discovered how he perceived it was the king, and together with Sir Richard and his men, knelt down and asked forgiveness, which the king granted, upon condition he would be served at the court. So Robin arrived the king and his company in mantles of Lincoln Green, and he went with them to Nottingham, the king seeming also to be one of the outlaws. And shortly together for buffets, Robin off boxed the king. And Pip, suspecting they should be all destroyed by Robin and his company, ran away till the king discovered himself and comforted them, and then each one was fighting. It was a great feast for all people, and Sir Richard Lee had his lands restored, <clears throat> for which Robin gave the king humble thanks. Since Robin